of the Black Revolution of the 60s, the leader of the Uhuru Movement, and chairman of the African Socialist International. He is also a political theoretician and the founder of the Burning Spirit newspaper. Chairman Omala Yeshitala is the author of um, many books, including An Uneasy Equilibrium, The African Revolution versus Parasitic Capitalism, and his latest release, Vanguard, the Advanced Detachment of the African Liberation. Our chairman, brother, Ale Yeshitala. Right out of Father. And we're going to have our father's name. Yeah. How good and how pleasant it would be before God and man. Yeah. To see the unification of all Africans. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to thank uh, Sister Lisa for the introduction and for the work. Uh, that she has done to contribute to making this a uh, really important kind of event. I want to also uh, express uh, solidarity with what she has had to say about this incredible steering committee of the Black is Black Coalition for Social Justice, Peace and Reparations. Uh, there are 18 different organizations that constitute this coalition, along with a number of individual members who participate in the various working groups of the coalition. That's not a small thing, and it's a coalition that's lasted for something like 12 years. That's extraordinary. And I just want to say that this is going to be a really important march, rally, and conference that we engaged in. This is a rehearsal, because on one of these occasions, we're going to march to the White House and demand that the inhabitants come out with their hands on their heads and, and demand that they should assume the position, right? That's, that's, that's what will happen. Because that White House, regardless of who inhabits that place, has never, will never, is incapable of representing the interests of African people and the vast majority of the people in the world. It's a blight, it's a blight on humanity. And it doesn't make any difference. It's the public face, the head of that thing, is named Joe Biden or Donald J. Trump. There's not a dime's worth of difference in the two of them as it relates to the conditions of existence of African people who have suffered 400 years in this country, some 600 years around the world, are the worst kind of oppression. The oppression that gave birth to this social system that so many people say they are opposed to. So this is an important mobilization. And I want to say that one thing is really significant for us to also understand. That there was a revolutionary movement in this country in the 1960s. I'm not saying this to wax nostalgia or anything like that. But you must understand this history, this history of a movement that was so powerful that the, that the chief assassin, the assassin uh, in, in chief, uh, in this instance, J. Edgar Hoover, who was the guy who presided over the secret political police called the FBI at that time, he declared that the Black Panther Party was the greatest internal threat to the security of the United States since the Civil War. He didn't say uh, that it was uh, somebody, uh, ISIS or some other entity in some other area, he recognized it right here. And what we must understand is that we had developed a revolutionary movement because like all people everywhere in the world, we always try to solve a problem the easy way. So we were brought to this country in captivity. African people are the only people in this country other than the indigenous people themselves who did not come to this country looking for a better way of life. We lost a better way of life as a consequence of the attack on Africa that brought us here. 